All right, let's get a quick overview of the options for server-side encryption, and then we'll uh, dive into each one. So uh, uh, server-side encryption can be initialized to SSC, and this feature is always turned on for new objects. At one point, uh, this was not the case where S3 was not uh, server-side encrypted and you had to turn it on, but now it's always on. You don't have to worry about it. It's always going to be uh, encrypted with SS SSE S3 by default, but this is where Amazon is managing the key for you and it's encrypting using AES GCM, but usually you'll see it also typed in as AES uh, 256. So understand there are some variations representing that algorithm there. Uh, then we have SSE KMS. So this is gonna be using key management service. So you get uh, uh, you know, FIPS compliance, and this is great if you need a, a certain level of regulatory compliance and AWS is managing your keys. You have SSE hyphen C, this is where you are providing the key you generated out and you upload it, but you now have to manage the rotation and things of it. Then you have DDSE KMS, it stands for dual layer server side encryption. And the, the idea here is that you're encrypting the key or the data client side, and then again, server side. So there's two levels of or maybe it's the key, but anyway, we'll talk about it in that slide because I have all the information there, but the idea is that there's two layers uh, of encryption there. Um, and then the other thing I wanna point out is that server-side encryption only encrypts the contents of an object and not its metadata. So that's very important to understand, but let's go uh, dive deeper into each of these uh, encryption options, okay?